We're live. It's the Kent Spec Scrum. It's a Friday, um, almost time of the weekend. Uh, Brent, how are things going with you? Yep, good. Um, but, um, I've been, well, yesterday I was, I managed to make a start on the async voter client for the API. Wonderful. Um, hopefully by the time we have the meeting on Wednesday, I'll have something to show you guys. Um, are you yeah. doing that? Are you doing that in a separate repo as a sort of as a standalone? Uh, yeah. Well, it's only on my lap on my laptop at the moment, but I will create a repo. I'll, what I'll do is I'll do what we've done previously. I'll do it on my own and then we'll transfer it. Oh, um, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. But I'm, I'm basically I've, I've started to build it as a module, so like an npm module. Right. As a module. That's that's what I meant to the word I meant to use. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I've got a couple of issues which um, I'll try and work through myself, and mm. I think it's to do with the event looping node that I just don't totally fully got my head around. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, I actually bought a new book yesterday from Prague Pub about Node.js that's quite up to date. It was published in well, it's still in beta, so mm. it's so hopefully, and that's got a chapter on the event loop. So I'll, I'll read through that. If mm. but if I'm stuck, I may just reach out for some help. Sure thing. Um, yeah, other than that, um, obviously, we had the pairing session with you and Nicola this morning. And yeah, the, the MOOC, that was really useful, actually, the Cucumber, because I'd sort of grasp Cucumber. But, mm. but yeah, go, going through what you did earlier, that, that sort of cemented a lot of what I assumed. So that was really useful. Thanks. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, yeah, no blockers. Um, my weekend will be basically the, doing some of the MOOC. Um, carrying on with the um, the client, and then I've got a, a session now with um, Nicola set up for local support as well. Mm. Wonderful. So yeah, cool. Great stuff. Great stuff. Thanks. Uh, so then on my side, yeah, we had the um, the move mob, which yeah, that was that was uh, that was good. Uh, very pleased with that. Uh, before that, it was oh, before that we had the we had the React mob and we're trying to get set up with doing acceptance testing for react using the, the aptly named nightmare framework um, <laughs> which i which i which i think we got we got kind of working um yeah definitely more to do on that next week um now we've got the um what's it called what's it called it's called the website one development meeting coming up next and uh yes i'm yeah, focusing on kind of clear up with that. Um, I guess the key thing that I must do is I've got to get this paid project um, contract estimate thing off for the Anthony Powell Society. Must do that tonight. Um, but yeah, that's yeah, that's about the size of things. I guess as I was just reflecting, how um, what would be really nice is if we had a good on website one good support for private events. I mean, I've got. Things like the MOOC mob and the React mob and so on coming up on the on the system, um, and you can sort of see them counting down. What would be great would be is if I could sort of classify them as private events, put the um, Hangout and the YouTube in there. That would automatically go to like the premium extra channel, and um, you know it would also people who were wanting to get access to them would be directed to you know the free trial mechanism and the all this that and the other. If we could get that all. A smooth pipeline there that would be very very handy but um yeah one one little thing at a time i guess yeah t talking of the website one I, I had a question about that i was um i don't know why what i was doing but i was on there earlier this week and i noticed that in my profile there's like a little flame icon with a number oh, yeah. yes yes um what is that i i couldn't find any reference to it i, I must admit i didn't spend a lot of time looking but <laughs> no problem at all yeah and it's what it is it's supposed to be calmer uh, or at least that's what we've called it. It's supposed to be kind of like a little reputation mechanism oh, okay. in the system. And so if you click on it, like like we could do with document, like basically in principle, if you click on it, whether it's in your profile or in, in there, it will take you to the activity tab on your profile page. And you can see how different things that you do in the community add up to that um that oh, reputation that's interesting it, i thought i did try to click on it and it didn't do anything i'll just check at the moment mm. maybe i'm mistaken but um 
I'm pretty sure that it's when entirely, I... It's entirely possible that it's... I mean, there's so many little things that I would love to fix in the site. It's not real. But, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, not an IPLink in, in my case. It's... Um, I'm just going to find your profile. And I wonder if that's because maybe it doesn't... Or maybe on this page, yeah, it's not. So there's an immediate change we should make. I think here, it's not... This is not linked to... Active. For some reason, you don't have an activity tab. Um... And that's another, oh gosh, no one's like, <laughs> I yeah. mean, this is. Sorry, I was just curious. I mean, it's not. No, 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 no. Well, it's, it's, don't, don't be sorry at all because it, it's the, it's the, um, I mean, part of the idea here is to, a bit like Stack Overflow and other things, is that, you know, be, to sort of kind of gamify and also like, you know, um, what's the word? Just, is it, 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 it's, actually, so Praveen did work on this and we did talk about, the, originally, this number didn't appear here. Mm -hmm. and he added it, which is a great improvement, but it doesn't link to the activity tab, um, whereas it does from, the, if we go to the members page, if you, found, if you found yourself on the members page, which is not, not, not a trivial thing to do, and then, yeah, there's a whole series of little usability. For some reason, you haven't even got an activity tab, and that may be because you haven't explicitly joined any projects through the site, Ah, okay. I'll do that. Then. So if yeah. you go to, and this is an, I mean, oh, it's just, I spent all this time doing usability courses and teaching usability and, and so on, whatever. And everybody involved, I don't know, they, they were so much more interested in doing the coding than in like the actual user experience. It was, it's, um, um, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we, we've then got this, there's, there's so many things that are in here that are like not obvious to use. But so if, if you're on a project page, you can then join it and become a member. And the, the main effect of that is that then, when it's looking at your profile, for those projects, it will look at, we have a background job that goes and looks at those projects on GitHub and, see if it sees it, and sees if you've got commits in them. And then it uses those to, um, to in principle, although, like, even if you haven't joined any of the projects, it's it's like it's no. I mean, you should be getting. I mean, you've got two hundred twenty three there. It should be giving you the activity tab for things like having signed. If you validate your account with GitHub and with Google Plus, you get extra karma and right, okay. so on. Yeah. So that's that's kind of a bug there. I don't know why that doesn't show uh, that there. But this is the kind of thing. I'm like in the distant future. Maybe we'll have all that, all these different aspect aspects of the site. Sorted so that they were, you know, made sense, navigable, and this, that, and the other. And we could get into this state where people were kind of, I don't know, like in incentivized to, um, you know, connect more, if you know what I mean. Yeah, well, that was really why I was curious, because I, I was thinking that if it was something like you, you said, like these karma points, yeah. it, it gamifies it, doesn't it? And it makes, yeah. if, well, if it's sort of promoted right, people, it might get people more involved in projects and doing work, so yeah. Indeed, and it's sort of inspired by, I mean, Code Wars, I don't know if you know Code Wars, I think have a wonderful, um, uh, they, they, it's basically full of lots of different Carta, uh, little individual code tests that you can do. And um, when you complete the test, you get points. And oh, okay. so you can see here, like I've got like 3,500, I've got like these, these many points. And then they have like a, a, a ranking system and you can kind of see um, where everybody is, and so you can okay. see, and it's interesting that you couldn't get Dan's before. Now they've gone, they've gone. Used to be one Q was the highest that you could get, but now they've got people. They've got this like, I mean, it's all based on the karate, um, yeah. you know, ranking system and so on. There, uh, oh, cool. The, if I go there, um, <coughs> and we can sort of see, there we go. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Even though I've changed my clan, it's still sticking me in there. Um, anyway, I mean, the, the, their site doesn't work perfectly, but it works much better than ours. <laughs> um, uh, but, but yeah, so there's a kind of, I mean, I, I think it's also, you know, we would, um, part of it was, you know, we, I think originally we wanted to encourage people to complete their profiles and, you know, present themselves to the community and, you know, mm -hmm. get, we, we used to be the case when the Google Hangout API was working that you got credit for both hosting Hangouts and attending them. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. But that doesn't. That's these are now because the Hangout API has gone away. That doesn't do that. And then it. So it's um. We then have there, and you can see like 
look at my commits for all the different projects. Um, but yeah, if, if that was kind of, if, if that was, sort of, as you say, seamless, it could, people could start getting, kind of getting a, a fun out of, you know, they get more commits, they get, you know, join the hangouts and this, that and the other and, and be a way of sort of heating up and, and powering the community forward. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, thanks. Um, it just reminds me of what was the other thing I was thinking that doesn't kind of work so smooth. Oh, and then so we've got other little things like this. This if I leave this page here, this will just stay here, mm -hmm. and it kind of some of the various like little interactive things going kind of go stale. Anyway, that's all stuff. Um, that if anybody wanted to talk about that more, um, we've got the website one. Uh, meeting coming up in which to talk about those things, but um, yeah, glad I was able to explain that to you. Well, have um, a fantastic weekend, Brent. Um, thanks so much for all of your your, your work uh, this week, and um, yeah, good luck with the the pairing and different bits and pieces. Yep, thanks very much, and have a good weekend yourself. Nice one. All right, See you next week. Yes. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.